going up. That was fun. I like the little minigame montage mission. Raging Inferno Flop and Throwing Shield. Oh yeah, Throwing Shield is good. Yeah. Ooh. Now I know Murray has the next job, but I know there are a couple of masks that Bob can get. So we should go grab those masks with Bob. And then we might want to... Nah, after, after we grab these masks with Bob, we should have Murray do his job, and then whenever Sly has a job next, we should go bottle hunting. We've got to get all the bottles in this episode, because it will make getting all the bottles in every other episode super easy. Because it puts a little marker on the map for them. Speak of the devil. We may as well have Bob try and grab this one. Why didn't it let me double jump? Is it because I fell instead of just jumping there? I thought I would fall off the edge and then be able to do my double jump to land on that, but I think I have to jump off to be able to do the second jump, which I didn't realize. I could rob you, but I choose not to because I'm a good guy. This might be not doable with Bob. We probably just need to do a, uh, a whatchamacallit with Sly. I'll say it in a second. Hey, die. A paraglide moment with Sly is what I was gonna say, or Bentley could hover to this really easily. Oh, come on. I think I was a little off there, whatever. We'll get that with someone else later. Uh, excuse me? Why didn't it let me press triangle? Go away. Now, I remember, there's a bottle right there. I remember seeing a mask around here that we needed to be able to ice climb for. Where, oh where, was that mask, I wonder? Where did I go, man? Oh no, I made a horrible mistake. This move makes me, I just started the holding triangle without thinking this is gonna make me like roll, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. I tried to hold myself back once the roll started and it did not work well. Don't mind me. I'll be out of your hair in a second. Very foolishly, the held triangle for no reason other than just wanting to press a button. Look at that water. How very PlayStation 3. Here it is right here. Up. If only Sly still had his double cane ice pick thing from, uh from episode seven of slide two. You're right, Bob did need a bath after all that uh, training montage. So it's good that we got him a little dip there. All right, now there were, I don't remember exactly where there were, where they were, words, but uh, hello. This dude has a slingshot. I have a giant death bone though. Which is way cooler, Al. How are you alive still? Okay, there it is. I was about to say, how much health do you have? I could really use some health now. A bottle! Fine. Imagine we get all the bottles as Bob. Bob the Bottle Hunter. Yeah, that'll catch on. Hello. I need some health, thank you. I need more health than that, please. <laughs> Goodbye. The woo! I know there were some other spots around here where we needed to ice climb to get masks and whatnot, but I do not remember where they were, but I remember looking around and being like, man, there are so many masks in this episode. That guy somehow didn't see me. Even though he definitely should have. What are you doing? Land on the thing. Nope. Well, I found the wheel. This isn't really what I was looking for, but I mean... I don't know. You think we can make it? Let's try. As Bob? Probably not. This seems like a sly thing. Yeah, paragliding from right there, we probably would have been able to nail this. 
as Sly. Climbed up that right there and gotten there? Yeah. Yeah, that requires Sly. Tried your best, Bob. If only Bob had his cane, then he could have done it, surely. Sorry, penguin. I know there was somewhere else that there was like a wall of ice to climb up that led to a mask or something, and I was like, oh, we need Bob for this. But I don't remember where it was. Hey, guess what? De oh, I pressed. whoops. I pressed triangle, but I was too far away when I hit triangle, so it didn't give it to me. All right, it's fine, he's dead. We're good, we're good. Has the game gotten less framey since I started playing as Bob somehow? It feels like it has. Maybe Sly was the problem all along. Carmelita was right. Where? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think he would see me. Well, this isn't gonna end well, cause he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be up here waiting for me. Bye. See you later, sucker. Where did I see that other ice spot? Or am I making it up in my head? Maybe I'm making it up? Maybe I'm lying to myself. That'd be pretty rude of me to do, though. Like, of all the people to lie to, why would I lie to me? Right? Unless I had a vendetta against myself that I never considered until now. I did not think that you would turn around like that. Uh... Whoop. All right. I thought that there was another ice spot like over around in this general area, but I'm not seeing it. So I think we should just go. And then, you know, we'll run into it later. Hopefully, if it does exist, assuming I didn't make it up. I don't have a cane for that. Excuse me, I need to make use of uh, this Ankylosaurus, I think. Pretty sure that's an Ankylosaurus. That would be my guess. Wall attach, wait. Oh, it's a way to get up here, but I'm already up. Where's the safe house? Oh wait, I was right next to the safe house. I got confused. The wall attached confused me when I was already walking where I wanted to go. All right, Murray, let's do this job. Sly can perform a stealth slam. Yes, yes he can. Hello, it is I. Get out there, Murray. Let's start getting back our uh, time watching the jiggets. I'm a little worried about only having 26% of the treasures at this point in the game. Because this is the third of five episodes. This man always has broccoli on hand. Who, like, does Bentley keep hiding broccoli in Murray's. I was gonna say his pants, but Murray doesn't wear pants. In his shoes? Where does he keep getting it from? Okay, Murray, this is the place. My readings show the temporal sprocket is somewhere in that cliff area. You'll need to climb that rock wall to reach it. But first, it looks like you're gonna have to clear out that crowd of guards. No problem! I'll use the beatdown I'm about to give those chumps for a warm-up. Then I'll get your doohickey back. Murray, I realize you volunteered for this one, but are you sure you're ready for that climb? Come on, Bentley. The Murray was born ready. Yeah, man, I'm the Murray. Where do you get all this broccoli? Hey, sorry, dude. You gotta die. Excuse me? Oh. Hey, don't I have Fists of Flame now? Ooh, baby. My hands are on fire. What's up, guys? Ready to burn? You are now. Hey, wait a minute. You got money. Ow. Give me. 
I love robbing people. Fine. My hands are still on fire. Is that a problem I should be worried about? Hey, dude. Bye, dude. All right, Murray, you got this. My hands are still on fire. It's working. Just give me a minute. I almost got it. Uh, Murray, I'm uh, sure you could do it, but we just don't have the time. Uh, we need to move fast here. I'm going with plan B. Wait. You you don't mean... Yep. Yeah, I'm calling it Bob. Great. The Murray just got benched. Relax, Murray. Climbing's his specialty. Besides, you should be proud. You were the one that trained him. Why don't you come back to the hideout and have a snack? I'm not hungry. Whoa! So this is what it feels like. <laughs> this is what it's like to not be hungry. I've never felt this okay, before. Okay, Bob. I know Murray got you ready to have to navigate around obstacles or break through them. Press the square button to pound the wall. Open up. How did these bones get up here like this? Yeah, chat, you're right. Murray might just be depressed now. But, you know, he'll get over it, probably. Dimitri once used the clockwork tail feathers. Raccoonus dudis! Oh, I love Dimitri. Okay, big guy, try putting on that binocular. Yeah, okay. Uh, your eyes? Put it on over your eyes. Yeah, that thing will help you see great distances. And I'm not really inside, but I don't have time to explain. My reading show the sprocket is close. It's somewhere just above your position. Hmm? Uh, no. Sorry, you're not any closer. We call that a zoom lens. Just keep climbing. Oh, Bob. You poor caveman, you. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Bob, climb very well. Use word only necessary. Win. Yoda? There is a windmill up there? The Grizz has put together a windmill? I assume to generate power? Did you say that was a beetle? That's clearly these are clearly scorpions. Look out for ice beetles! These are not beetles, these are scorpions. There are definitely gonna be some masks in this mission. There might only be one, but there will definitely at least be one. Watch out for those pterodactyl legs. You don't want to wind up with egg on your face. Sorry, just some futuristic humor. Humor is a strong term, Ben. This must be the uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. I realized too late what was going to happen there. My bad, my bad. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Nothing to see here. Okay, let's wait this time. I love how he holds the bone with his tail. His skill knows no bounds. No wonder the pterodactyls are all riled up. Grizz is stealing all their eggs. How dare the Grizz steal all their eggs? Oh, you're almost to the death. That's what Bob does. He's the egg thief. Yes, there's the rocket. There's a guard just sitting in the nest? Just chilling out? Do the pterodactyls not, like, care about that? Found it! Look! <laughs> 
Why did you hold it up like that? This <laughs> Bentley. Actually, that is what you reptile, but more importantly, it looks like we need to reach those higher nests now. God never that was easy. I was hoping you'd say that. Where's the sprocket, Bob? That mama pterodactyl must have broken free, but she's sticking around because all these babies are still captive. Don't worry, we will help them, but first we have to get that sprocket back. You sound just like Sly. Be careful you don't wake her or those babies up. I don't think she'll be very happy to see you. I can't believe it. Don't wake those babies. We don't want to attract Bob and Pterodactyl's attention. Bob is actually smarter than Bentley. These are, in fact, birds. They have wings, man. That means they're birds. I mean, I guess they can be reptile birds if Bentley wants to be annoying about it, but, like, these these are birds, man. They fly and they got wings. As a bird. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Did you see those two pterodactyl babies, like, woke up and fell asleep in unison? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought I could slide down fast enough. I could not. Yeah. Like how the job failed thing is still like Sly being put in prison even though a mother pterodactyl just ate Bob alive. Yeah, I'm upset too, Bob. Very mad. Oh! I didn't know that doing that would trigger the bird if it couldn't see me. Learn something new every day. I probably could have made that, actually. Hey there, little buddy. Yeah, go back to sleep, idiot. Dumb little moron. All right, so I'm gonna have to like wait a second after I get past this little bit right here. Ow. Yeah, just hold right here. We're good. We're good. There you go. Be careful. You do not want to fall from that height. Yeah, I kind of figured, Bentley. Need to wait for this egg to go. And this pterodactyl to go down. This is gonna be my best shot. Nothing to see here, little friend though. Nothing to see here. I have still not seen a mask. I feel like I've already missed one somehow. Which would be very less than ideal. Climb, but don't wake the babies. Did you see how well I timed that jump? Man, I'm good. Is that a windmill? Is that generating power? That little pinwheel right there? Uh-oh. Wow, how did I not get hit there? Bentley, I didn't hear what you said there, but mind your business, I'm busy. Out here doing my best. What is causing these explosions of ice? Yeah, I definitely feel like I missed a mass somewhere. I don't know where, though. This wasn't a very long level, though, so, I mean, it would be easy to redo in the future if I did miss one. Look, it's the Grizz. Why does he have an ice sculpture all the way up here? Hey, run, idiot. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna loading screen our, our way out of that, that issue there. Nothing to worry about.